Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a taggle charm bracelet. It looks like this. And the main difference between this and other bracelets is the clasp, which is a toggle clasp. To make this bracelet, you'll need some chain, some jump rings, a toggle clasp, some beaded charms. You'll also need some wire cutters and two pairs of pliers. The first step is to gather your materials and to cut your chain to the length that you want it using a pair of wire cutters. For my bracelet, I'm going to be using six jump rings, one pearl charm for the end over here, four feather charms for these charms here, and a toggle clasp for this side and this side. I got all of these supplies from Michael's, Joanne Fabrics, and Hobby Lobby. You could get them all from one place if you want, but I shop around. I know I teach you guys how to open and close a jump ring in every video, but I know not everyone watches every single video of mine. There could be people that just stumble across them and like aren't subscribed to me. What you do is you take both pairs of pliers and move one towards you and one away from you. And then it will open up at the top. Every time you need to attach a jump ring, you need to open it up like this and then close it the same way. Take this open jump ring and place it through the last link of one end of the chain. Keep holding on to it and grab one end of your toggle and one charm. So I'm going to use the heart and a pearl. And you just put them on. Then you have to close your jump ring back up, of course. At this point, you're just going to connect everything to your chain with the jump rings. Just open them all up and attach the chains. And for my hearts over here on this bracelet, I did count how many links were in between them because I like my bracelets to be um, well, perfect. <laughs> no, I like them to be uniform and I like them to have the same distance in between. So you can count them or you don't have to if you don't want to. Now I have all of the feather charms on. I put them 10 lengths apart and I'm getting ready to close the jump ring of the toggle clasp, the other end of it. To put these on, you have to hold one end of the toggle straight up against the chain and then put it through the other side. And there we go. Here's what this one looks like on. Remember you can add any type of charm to this that you want. You can even use polymer clay charms that you make and just add them to jump rings and put them on here. Um, also, I have this charm bracelet in my Etsy shop, so if you want to buy it, go check it out. I have the link to my shop in the down bar. And if you want to buy this one, it's not pictured yet, but just leave me a message like on this one, like purchase this one or something. And leave me a message saying that you want the feather one. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And check out all of my links in the down bar. You guys have a great day and I'll see you soon. Bye!